Hi guys, for today's review I'm going to be doing Hermione's beaded bag down there. Um, I have it up here at the moment to show you what length it comes to on me. Okay, let's get started. Alright, so this I think is my favourite Nova collection item and probably my favourite piece of Harry Potter merchandise. In case you didn't know, Hermione is my favourite character and I live and breathe that witch, honestly. <laughs> uh, so of course um, this was on my must-have list. And I got this back in 2013 at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They no longer sell it there anymore. Um, I'm not sure about the studio tour. I haven't seen it there, but I haven't probably looked for it. I know you can get some online, but I know sellers do overprice them quite a lot. And I don't think Nova Collection have it on the website anymore. But this might be handy in case you are making it soon or looking to have one replicated. And I also got asked to review this, so that's what I'm doing it for. Okay, so to start, this cost me £60. And honestly, I think it's worth it because of all the details in it and the fabric, as it is made from a silk. Plus, it's not a collection, you're not going to get it for any less than that, I'm afraid. And by the way, guys, in case you're wondering about my really gross nail polish in these videos, I am filming these in one day just to upload one whilst I'm on holiday, and I will be taking this nail polish off very soon, so please ignore that. But yeah, let's, let's talk about some details. So as you can see, it is purple, made from some crinkled silk with some velvet, and the velvet is kind of a lilac-based grey, there, if you can see. It kind of has a sheen that sort of changes colour. And it also has this embroidered trim through it, as well as this trim here, which is a gold and a kind of light pale blue. Let's get the camera to focus. And obviously a bunch of beads, which are in gold, different shades of blue, a purple, and some are silver. Or just clear, as you can see here. I love the detail in this bag, it's so pretty. And it has this gold sort of zigzag stitch through it too, as you can see. There's actually gold thread that goes through a lot of it. You can also see the bag, the main fabric, has a sort of gold sheen on it. I don't know whether it's picking up properly, but definitely there. And for the bottom, this is some sort of stiff cardboard, I can feel that in there. And it also has a chain stitch in a grey or blue colour around the edges, and the same beads and gold thread that's used throughout the bag. Then these, I'm pretty sure, are two beads wrapped in fabric. It has unthreaded a little bit here over time, um, sadly, but I don't really mind that, you can't see it too much. And then there are these strings. Two have these little beads on them. Three are just plain black. And I'm afraid of these becoming threaded and then unravelling. Um, but I can't really fix that at the moment. Um, I do use this for cosplay and I do also use it in daily life a lot because I adore this bag and I always get so many compliments when wearing it. And surprisingly, it can hold quite a few, like, daily items, as in a phone, a wallet, a lipstick, whatever you're carrying. <laughs> Obviously, you can't use it for school or work or anything like that, but it is pretty good if you're not carrying too much. Then the edges up here are gathered with some sort of elastic, and obviously the drawstring here. It has a black, I think this is just plain cotton lining. And then the edges have the same gold, blue, and beaded embroidery through it. This would actually be really hard to do, I think. So that's probably why the bag costs so much, because of all the little details like this, which do look hand-produced. And then the bag has these grey drawstrings. And then these two little beads at the end, which are made of the same fabric, and have a slightly different design on them than the ones at the bottom of the bag. I also have beads on the side. Yeah, very pretty. 
unfortunately this bag is not charmed so it cannot hold all of your wizard books and change of clothes or a tent but it is quite roomy as I mentioned just now so it's not a teeny tiny bag which is what some people I know are quite concerned about and on the outside and this is me wearing it as you can see it's a good length it comes to my hips yeah and that is Hermione's beaded bag that's all I have to say um, I love this bag and it's one of my favourite things I've ever bought and I really don't think my collection would be complete without it as I said Noble Collection no longer produce it but I am trying to get them to resell it I think I even signed a petition a while ago um, but I've said enough on my Instagram that I really want them to resell this because I know there's a lot of people out there that really want to get their hands on this still so hopefully they do that one day but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!